Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how you can get started with the app Pay Me Plus. So this is about PaySwing basically. So we will go to the Play Store and I think the app also exists for iOS. So it's oh, not Play, it's Pay Me Plus, that's the name of the app. And I will download that one here. So we just go to the obviously to the Play Store or App Store. We'll quickly check out if it also exists uh, on for iOS or if it doesn't. But apparently it does. Yeah, it also exists for uh, iOS, so you can download it either way. And then obviously open the app here. Then we will quickly go to next, and we will have to set up an account. So I will quickly do that. So we will just uh, well, we'll do with a 10 minute mail in this case. So I will enter my 10 minute mail address here. So let's get that one here. Okay, it doesn't work, I think. I'm gonna try it again. Nope, still doesn't work. Ah, now it works. Okay, great. And then I will just create a password, which is, which is 1234, 1234 apparently. And I will try to sign up, so my password isn't good enough. So it's gonna be for, oh, it's gonna be XRP, death, uh, one, uh, 1234. Uh, okay, right. Exclamation mark. So I'm gonna try and again, uppercase and lowercase. All right, so XRP, def, one, two, three, a uh, exclamation mark, please work. I, so then I will also have to set a password here. Okay, right, so I'm gonna get a verification code. It's four, nine, three, two, two. So it's on my email address. So I will then set a pa uh, pin code here. And now we are at the part here. Uh, this one's going to be, for example, here uh, test. One, oh, well, okay, I'm going to enter here XRP, XRP dev then. So we've got here now XRP dev dollar pay me dot plus. Okay, so I can take that one here. And all of this optional here, so we can just skip again and go to let's go. And now we can add a payment network. And I can basically add whatever we want to. Uh, so select payment network and I could for example add uh, XP Ledger, Bitcoin or anything basically. But I will do it for the XP Ledger. And now I have to just enter here my account address. So it's going to be, so I'm just going to quickly go to BitHomp. I'll look for XP Dev. So that one here I will enter here my uh, account address and go to next. And you can option also set up a tag, so it's going to be for XRP. So you can also select if you want XRP. For example, if I also want uh, uh, ish, uh, I use if I want to accept I use, for example. And then I confirm, confirm that. And the great part now is that now somebody can pay me with XRP def dollar pay me dot pay me dot plus. So I will show you the quicker with the XAM app here. So if, for example, you would be using the XAM app. You could be, for example, sending me, so I'm going to use another account now. I've got two accounts, so the Dev2 account I'm going to use now. I want to send 0 0.0001, so one drop, or oh, one more zero. One, I'm going to send one drop now from this account to my uh, XOP Dev account, but I'm going to use a pay string now. I'm going to say XOP Dev dollar pay me dot plus. And that way, and there I am. So I'm, I'm coming here, so that one is being resolved to my account address that I said before. And now it's there and it works. So that's basically uh, what the pay strings are used for. And that's how it works. And now, and now anybody can pay you also using your pay string without, like I said, no, having to know the entire account address. And right, so that's basically how it works. So you can also add to the Pay Me Plus app here. You can also add additional information on it. Uh, you can also add additional payment networks, for example, like, like I said, Litecoin, Binance Chain, whatever. Uh, so the important part there is that obviously the network which is being used has to support the payment string. So many, most exchanges, as far as I know, don't support payment strings. Uh, and for example, the XAM app does, so that's why it works. All right, so that was basically it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next one.